Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a C++ program to find the factorial of a number using a recursive function. Now, I have already made a video where you guys can find the factorial of a number using the iterative process. I'm going to put the link of that video in the description box. You guys can check that out. Factorial of a non-negative integer, let us say n, we denote that using this symbol is the multiplication of all integers smaller than or equal to n, which is nothing but n factorial equal to n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 and similarly we go up to 3, 2, 1. For example, we have the number 4, then 4 factorial equal to 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. And if you look at this, then we can write 4 factorial as 4 multiplied by 3 factorial. And we can write 3 factorial as 3 multiplied by 2 factorial. We can write 2 factorial as 2 multiplied by 1 factorial and 1 factorial is equal to 1. And uh, another thing is 0 factorial is equal to 1. 1 factorial is equal to 1 and for negative numbers we can't find the factorial. Now let us see how we can write a recursive function for finding this. A function is said to be a recursive function if it calls itself directly or indirectly. When we have a recursive function we should have a condition in that recursive function where the recursive call will end. So here let us create the function and let's say this function is going to return integer type of data and we will call it as factorial. You guys can give any name and this function will take one parameter which is the number for which we want to find the factorial. Now here inside this function we should have a condition where the recursive call should end and if you look at this factorial program then the recursive call should end when we have the number 1 or 0. So here I'm gonna use a condition and I'm gonna write in if n is less than or equal to 1 then we want to return 1 because for the numbers 1 and 0 the factorial value is 1. So if n is containing 1 then we will return 1. We are not going to uh, use the recursive call here. Now after that, if n is containing a value greater than 1, then what we want to do? Let's say, what if the n is containing 2? So if n is 2 here, then we want to perform 2 multiplied by factorial of 1, which is 2 minus 1. So here, this will be the recursive call. If n is greater than 1, then we want to perform n multiplied by factorial of n minus 1 and when we get the result we want to return that result. So here if n is containing 1 or less than 1 0 then we will return 1 else we will perform n multiplied by factorial of n minus 1 you know which is nothing but if the n is 3 then 3 factorial is equal to 3 multiplied by 2 factorial. In that way this program will work. So now uh, here we have uh, written the program. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, ask the user to enter the number in this main function and we will call this factorial function and we will find the factorial value. And after writing this program I will explain how this will work. So here first let us declare the variables that we need in this program. I'm going to take integer types of uh, variables and I'm going to call it as number for storing the number entered by the user and let's use another variable and let's call it as result for storing the factorial of the number entered by the user. So we will use the cout and we will say enter the non-negative uh, number to find the factorial. We will read the number using cin and we will store that in our number variable. Now after that we will call the factorial function and we will pass the number entered by the user and uh, whatever the value this factorial function will return we will store that in our result variable and uh, once we know the factorial value we will display that to the screen so we will use cout 
and we will say number and then I'm gonna insert factorial is equal to result now we have written the program in here let us see how this will work now let's say the user is gonna enter the number 4 so now what happens is we are calling factorial function and we are passing 4 to this function in here so the factorial function will be called and we will pass 4 so n will get 4 whether n is containing a value less than or equal to 1 no n is containing 4 so it will come to this part and here we have n multiplied by factorial of n minus 1 so it will be 4 multiplied by factorial of uh, n minus 1 4 minus 1 which is 3 now here if you look at this then we are calling this factorial function again so it will make a call to the factorial function so it will be factorial and 3 and again 3 is not less than or equal to 1 so we will come here and we will have 3 multiplied by factorial of 3 minus 1 which is 2 so we are calling the factorial function again so it will be factorial of 2 so here n which will get 2 is not less than or equal to 1 so we will come to this part and we will perform 2 multiplied by factorial of 2 minus 1 which is 1 so again factorial function and with the value of 1 and now this condition will satisfy 1 is less than or equal to 1 so it will return 1 so it will return the value 1 here to its caller so this factorial of 1 is called by this factorial of 2 so this one will get 1 so it will be 2 multiplied by 1 and it will return this value 2 to its caller which is factorial of 3 so here this factorial of 2 will get 2 here it will perform 3 multiplied by 2 so it will become 6 and it will return this 6 to its caller which is factorial of 3 so it will be here 4 multiplied by 6 and which will be 24 and this 24 will be returned here and that 24 will be stored in this result variable and here when we print this one here it will be 4 factorial equal to 24 so now we have uh, written the program in here let's run this enter the non-negative number to find factorial i'm going to enter 4 and it says 4 factorial equal to 24 now here since we are using this integer data type the number that we have to enter for finding the factorial has to be a smaller number if we enter a larger number then uh, the integer type can't hold the factorial value calculated integer type can hold up to certain range of numbers and uh, you know if the value goes beyond that then we get improper results now here i want you to make a modification to this program and it is a simple one all we have to do is check for the negative numbers in here of course we are asking the user to enter the non-negative number but the user can enter anything so i want you to perform uh, the check for the negative numbers in here in this main function and uh, i want you to display an appropriate message to the user and uh, after making the modification to this program post it in the comment section thank you for watching guys if you like this video then hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video